Hey, opposing and good day, everybody. This is Sports Night News. I'm Joe Borg, and this is going to be a quick reaction to the great 6-3 to win that Team Sweden, led by the goaltender Jesper Wellstad and Captain Emil Andrea, who had a goal and an assist in this game, able to get the 6-3 win. Matt De Mieskoff, though, was a player of the game for Russia, as he is, of course, a big guy with Connor Bedard um, to be drafted in next year's draft in 2023, eligible players. But let's get into the game as a whole, Oscar Olison, <clears throat> Colorado prospect, pow, uh, powered one on a wrister on the power play. Um, that was a very nice play by Alexander Holtz to be able to get an assist as well as Helgi Granz to be able to set up the play. And he comes back into play later. Helgi Granz, who played a good game. Their defenders played a very good game. Uh Emil Andrea played a great game. Simon Edvinson played a great game. Helge Granz played a great game. The uh, Kings prospect. So... I mean, it was ever abundant that they were playing great on defense there. And then Edvinson is the Detroit Red Wings prospect for people that don't know. But all of those guys played a great game to really be able to push the pace then to the offense of Sweden, which then obviously got it done, where the big difference in this game otherwise, too, was Russia was able to get some power plays in this game. If you look at the totals, it was 12 penalty minutes total by Sweden, only four by Russia. Russia just couldn't capitalize on the power play. Their other goal was Fedor Sveshkov, um, who's Nashville's prospect, who was able to get one of a fortunate bounce off a backhand in front that Kirill Tankov and Nikita Chabrikov were able to get assists on as well, where um, he was probably, he, uh, Fedor Sveshkov was probably other than Matt Bay Mieskov, who looked like a bat out of hell out there and did all he could. I don't know how he got that backhander to bank off of Jesper Wallstead and go in. That was an absolutely ridiculous goal. And then he, of course, was fortunate. That was a weird allowance of a goal on the other goal where the net ended up getting knocked off his moorings. But because Team Sweden's guy pushed him in, it was a goal allowed, which actually makes sense and maybe should be allowed a little bit more. But Edvinson, though, a big bugaboo you don't want to have when your power play sucks in a game is allowing a shorthanded goal. Well, Simon Edvinson was able to get it through the wickets to Yaroslav Oskarov, which that goal, I wonder if that's the reason that he was pulled because it was peculiar that he was pulled in this game, of course, as well. You wouldn't envision Askarov being pulled for a Yegor Gushkov who then did not look that great either, but we'll get to him later. But he was pulled in this game as Edvinson was able to pot one on the breakaway goal through the five hole as well as having a killer chance moments earlier that Askarov was able to make um, a good save on. But that was also a killer goal allowed by the Russians. And then Emil Andrea, after mentioning having a goal and an assist, his goal was a really good play. I said I would mention Helge Granz again. Helge Granz slid with him at the line. They switched spots and he was able to have the nice wrister goal there as William Eklund um, also had the assist there. And then Alexander Holtz. Um, oh, well, well, before we get to that, Russia did not take advantage of their power play in my game notes. That's one of the things I wrote down. Russia not taking advantage of their power play and being very undisciplined was really the game-changing, not not moments, but factors of this game that was really able to allow a very good defensive-minded um, push, the, not even a minor, but very good defensive game that pushed the pace of the offense by Edmondson, Helge Granz, and Mio Andrea, and then they were able to draw their penalties Sweden was unable to take advantage of their power plays, even though they, of course, did not have um, as much opportunity on the power plays as Russia did, but they were able to take advantage when they did, and um, that's why Sweden was able to win this game, but let's finish recapping the couple of goals, as Holtz was able to bury one on the power play on the 5-1-3, which is a one-time wrister, assisted by William Eklund, the Sharks prospect, who looked very good in this game as well. And then later on um, in the period, Theodore uh, Niederbach, the face-off wizard uh, Theodore Niederbach, was able to get one of his own, and he was able to score. And then Daniel Jungman, from the other side of the ice, was able to get one as well as the one that Niederbach scored. That's one that Gushkov would want back. That was not. I said we would get back to 
uh, Igor Gushkov in a negative way, and that was one he would definitely want back. That Niederbach scored through the wickets. That was a crushing goal for Russia. So I would say allowing two crushing goals in this game and being undisciplined for Russia and not taking advantage on the power play with the reasons they lost were taking advantage of the power play where you had Andre Holt score in the power play. You had Emil Andreas score in the power play. And you had Olsen score in the power play. So taking advantage of the power play um, was the big reason they won for Sweden. Wallstedt playing well enough and then having very good play from your three key defensemen in Edvidsson, um, in Emil Andrea, and in Helge Granz to be able to push that defense to offense was really a huge factor in this game for Sweden as well. This has been a reaction to the Sweden 6-3 win over Russia. Russia was able to really kind of push the pace a bit in the third because of Mishkov, but that's really all the fight they had. They really did not play a good or disciplined game in this game, costing them this tilt and being able to get Sweden this win because of how good they are in the power play and them taking advantage of the power play and also just having a hell of a defensive scheme on 5-on-5 five five to be able to then have some 5-on-5 five five offense as well. The better team won in this one, I feel. Sweden was way more deserving to win this game, and they did, 6-3. to three. So have a great, safe, and pleasant day, everybody. And if you enjoyed the content, please continue to subscribe down below to help us get to 185 by the new year up above on the easy-to-use widget. Uh, continue to enjoy the rest of the world juniors. This was a great game between Sweden and Russia that Sweden was able to capture 6-3. to three. Peace out, everybody.